Missing values can seriously impact your data analysis if not handled properly, especially if you work with like a scale data. Most people just delete the case or even worse, they delete the variable. No, please don't do that. In this video, I'm going to show you the correct way and the scientific way how to handle missing values and make your estimation unbiased. Before we decide which best method that we will use to handle the missing values in our dataset, we need to decide that the missing values in the variable or in the Likert scale data is in a random pattern or not. To do this, we need to perform a hypothesis test named little test for missing completely at random or MCAR test. MCAR test is a statistical test used to determine whether the missing data in your dataset is random or has some underlying pattern. If the missing data is found to be completely at random, you can proceed with various imputation methods without introducing bias. If not, this suggests that the missing data might have a pattern and requires careful handling to avoid bias result. In this example, I have 7 variables that consist of 5 ordinal variables, 1 nominal variables, and also 1 scale variables. And as you can see from Q1 to Q5, I have several missing values here that is uh, consists of blank cells uh, or dot at the cell here. And as you can see at the variable view, this Q1 to Q5 is in ordinal measurement or in lighter scale measurement. And first, let's see the frequencies of the missing value. Go to analyze descriptive statistics and then select frequencies. And then select the whole variable that we will analyze, move it into the variable box, and then click OK. As you can see here, for each variable, I have different numbers that is missing uh, in this case. For Q1, I have uh, 11 missing values. For satisfaction and so forth, I have 6 and so on. And then, let's do the little MCAR test to see the pattern of the missing values before we decide what will we do for this missing values variable. Again, go to analyze and then select missing value analysis. Great. Now select the variable that we will analyze. If we want to analyze the quantitative variables here, move it into the quantitative variables box. And if you have categorical variables, move it into the categorical variables box. Okay. At the estimation tab, click the EM or expectation maximization. This is the part that we will use for the further analysis if the pattern of our missing values is completely random. And then click the EM options here and then make sure that the distribution is normal. Okay, click continue and then click OK. Great, now we have the output in the output window and let's scroll down and you can see that at the table EM means at the A caption, you see that Little's MCAR test chi-square equals to 35.049 or the p-value is 0 0.731, which means that if we use the alpha for 5% or 0 0.05, this p-value is higher than the alpha, which means that we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Or we can conclude that, or we can conclude that the pattern of the missing value for these five variables is completely random. Remember, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So let's do the expectation maximization to impute the missing values. The expectation maximization method is an advanced statistical technique used to handle missing data by imputing values based on the maximum likelihood estimation, and it's commonly used when the data is assumed to be missing completely at random or MCAR. The EM algorithm operates in two steps, iteratively refining its estimates for missing value until the results stabilize the expectation and the maximization. To perform the expectation maximization method, go to Analyze and then select Missing Value Analysis. Here, let's move the variable into the quantitative variables box and then make sure to check the EM option here in the estimation tab and then click the EM options here. 
Okay, now for the save completed data, we will create a new dataset that is consists of the imputation data in a new file. Here, let's make the name for uh, imputation and then click continue. After that, click OK. Let's wait until uh, SPSS uh, process complete. And then here we have a new file named imputation that is consists of five variables that is completely in full values here. Okay, there is no missing value in these five variables. And as you can see, it's also copy the variable name and the label and so on at the variable view. We can use the five variables for the further analysis. Okay, so let me move these five variables into the, our uh, first worksheet like this. Let me copy it and move into the uh, current worksheet here. Right click and then paste with variable names. Okay, let me fix it first. Q1 E means a Q1 imputation. Okay. Q2 E, Q3 E, Q4 E, and Q5 E. Okay. Oh, sorry, Q5 E. Q5 E. Okay. Q4 E. Let me copy the uh, level also. Yeah. Click. Copy and select press here, and also for the value, right click, copy, and then paste it here. And then for the measurement, also change it into the ordinal. Okay, now we can use this imputation variable for our further analysis because it passed the MCAR test. And let's see the frequency analysis of our new variables. Here, for the frequencies, let's change the uh, variables. Move the new variable here into the variable box and then click OK. So, as you can see at the frequency statistics table, we have no missing value. OK? And how to prove these missing values is completely safe to use in further analysis? Well, let's use paired samples to test to prove that the mean of the previous variables and also the new variables, uh, there is no significant difference, okay? We will use the paired samples to test. Analyze, compare means, and then select paired samples to test here. Okay, make sure to pair the right variable for Q1, uh, add the new Q1 for the Q2, also the Q2, the Q3, okay, for the quality, okay, we will test the whole variable, like this, okay, click OK. You see that uh, the t-test result at the output window, and at the pair samples t-test uh, statistics table, at the bottom, you see that the correlation and t cannot be computed because the standard error of the difference is zero, which means that there is no significant difference between before imputation and after the imputation. And this imputation data is safe to use, and we can uh, use this to make an unbiased estimation. Okay, and also as you can see. If you make the descriptive statistics for the uh, variables, it will produce the similar result. Okay, please move it and click OK. And you can see that the ease of youth mean before imputation is 4.08 and after imputation is 4.07 and so on. There is no significant difference. The data is safe to use for your next analysis. That's it. That's how you handle missing data for Likert scale data. And I hope this video will be useful. See you in the next video.